You going cry mode? Don't cry. <laughs> we can't. My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. And this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how are you? We're sad. It's a sad episode. I'm good, man. October's here. We got some nice autumn, but it's a sad app. So I wipe my nose on the mic. Don't put that in there. Double it up. Instant replay. <laughs> The baseball is baseballing. We've at least gotten to a good series. The Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. We got some division rivalry. We got bullpens getting hit. We got players getting hit by pitches. And now we've got the best thing in hockey, a game seven. Drama, beef. We Ooh. also had a history-changing replay take place in game something of the ALCS where you will no longer see something that we've seen for a long time. Runners with the batting gloves flopping out their back pocket. You saw Simeon, he got doubled up because the they tagged the finger, and then the next game, he stuffs them in. So that's uh, 20 years from now. Remember when they had their fingers flopping out of their back pocket? No more. It's one of the earliest baseball swag moves. Have that hanging out your back willy, but it got t goed But also, let's be the first to congratulate the Texas Rangers. They take down the Houston Astros. That game seven. Oh, whoa. And then they get the... They I get didn't it. think it was going to be that big of a blowout. Well, you know, it when... Spiritually. When the numbers are done, you've won. That's an old accountant phrase. Accountants hate that phrase. <laughs> um, oh, what was this um, pronunciation YouTube account you were telling me about? It's this guy. It's not American telling Americans how to pronounce names. A million followers. Oh, really? Yes. Good shit. Yeah. How did he say Oregon Ducks? Oregon Docks. Oregon Dicks. Oregon Docks. <laughs> For the Oregon Docks. We were wondering how to say Sabrina Ionescu's name the right way, and we think we've got it, but... But also it's like a French guy who says Docks. Sabrina Ionescu. Sabrina Ionescu. We got a puke and rally here. I got tagged in this a lot because I've made a lot of breakdowns of, of athletes who puke. Your life has been surrounded by puke. Yeah, I get like an update, you know, puke alarm. But I didn't make a breakdown on this one. It's an almost a breakdown because this wasn't like a... Onto the floor. No. Uh, she hits a three, and then she walks to the sideline, and her coach just has a garbage can ready right. for her. Almost like a, like a sonic drive through of puking, just like very organized, like, and then went back out and played. It's just very organized that it almost felt like, huh? Then they lost, which is kind of tough, because... You don't want that to be your final highlight of the season. Um, weren't you saying you puke, you party, you puke, puke, you party? Puke, you party, puke, puke, you party, puke and party, puke, puke and party. Yes, but I puke on your opponent. One gerbil. Anyway, so that's like almost a breakdown. More sports. And this episode is brought to you by Seat Geek. Oh, Seat Geek. Uh, Jim and more sports, a group of sumo wrestlers were deemed too heavy to fly. So airplane had to book a separate flight for it. Now you might've seen this in one or two flights before. I know I've been on thinly flights where they're like, we actually need a thinly. couple people thinly, thinly flights where they're like, Hey, we actually need a couple people to move up in the airplane or back in the airplane. The airplane's out of balance. Well, with all these sumo wrestlers, they had to book them an extra flight. So you're like, okay. And this story at the front seems very clicky. A couple things hooked us in one first line to the article. Awful. Ruining writing articles for anyone who's ever written. B, there's a hilarious picture that you're going to like, Zach. How would you describe it, Jim? It's of the sumo guy stretching, uh, like, you know, that like leg chop thing ha, that they do. And the photographer's behind right in his butthole. <laughs> yeah. It's a good shot. Guy on the left didn't realize what was going on because <laughs> yeah. he's doing like this stupid stretch or he's whatever. He's literally doing like an impression of like, look like an idiot for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Zach, you're a, you're a worldly guy. You know, this is sumo wrestling, right? These are, guess the average average weight of the sumo wrestlers. 400? We were, were you torturing the no? <laughs> we kind of thought that too, sumo wrestling, right? Average weight, 265. Ripped its leg off. Uh, what were you saying about this, uh, your trip to Warsaw this weekend? Oh, dude, in the, in the not sports, we have a classic criminal wins, but the, the law thinks they won. Hmm. A guy pretended to be a mannequin in the mall and the picture's hilarious did you click the link and see the picture yes. it's so good he's got a bag what mannequin holds it back and wearing like full clothes and and also just like not a skinny plastic person it's a real life human and they left yeah and they locked up but he was behind and he stole all the jewelry because they thought he was a mannequin 
So now he's in trouble. Right. And they're like, we got him. And they're like, hey, turns out this guy's been doing stuff like this all the time. He used to go to the food court, food court inside the store and he'd eat and then he'd go change into a new outfit and leave. At the end, the guy's like, uh, his luck ran out. We've got him. It's like he fucking beat you guys. He had if it wasn't for, for the security camera, like fire those employees. They don't have good mannequin detection skills. Reminds me of Goosebumps. Remember that Goosebumps book where the mannequins come to life? I've just been watching the Goosebumps series on TV. Harold Biddle. So it should be a case of catch me if you can a little bit where it's like, hey, you have to understand you're taking clothes and eating food like we have to punish you for that. But you've also run a perfect case study yes. on our environment that like, we're going to chop the charges to a third, yep. but you also, you can't live and use everything in the mall. That's one of the mall's biggest rules. That's but rule just number one. Don't be saying stuff Two, like, keep your kids away from me. We, we got them. No, you didn't. We got them is kind of tough. They literally fake mannequined. If you didn't get them, that's a problem. And yeah. you didn't have them for a little yeah. bit. Like you don't win this 22 game. 22 years cameras. old. Having fun. Poor, bored, fun. No, he's poor. If you're pretending to be a mannequin, you're not well off. <laughs> he could probably do that in Times Square if he can freeze that well and make some money. Why haven't places brought in live mannequins yet? Come on. Who should it be? Sarah left a nice note, and she kind of won Employee of the Week last week in like real life. She called our all-hands meeting all-feet meeting. I think that was a play on the frogs. I'll have an all-feet. No hands. I really like all feet meeting. All feet meeting is nice. Sarah. You're making awesome shirts. She just changed the name of our meetings. That's a big week. <laughs> it's a sad up. I forgot how sad this up was. That was the Weekly Dumb. Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by SeatGeek. If you don't know what SeatGeek is, they're a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including sports, concerts, festivals, and more. We've got the hookup. Use code DUMB, D-U-M-B, for $28 off your first purchase at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code DUMB, D-U-M-B. Click the link in the description to download the app. This New York City store has actual human mannequins. Seems like that fucking Click. scene from year one where they paint Michael Sarah in gold. Fetch me my wine! Can we finish the episode with a picture of him on the screen? <laughs> with the helmet on. Come on. My helmet doesn't fit. Excuse me.